Listen up, Raiders. Welcome to Geek Chess. Well, welcome to Patreon first, and then I'm Geek Chess. My name's Steve. I'm Jessica. And today we're going to destroy some values. Because <laughs> <laughs> what we have here is a mint in the package M1 Club Daikaiju Gorgo made in Japan. This figure came out 19. Whoa. or it's 2002. 2002. Movie came out like 6. 71? Yeah. This is 63. Wait, 63? I have it upside down, but it still looks all the same because it looks like 61 that way. 1961 <laughs> that way. It's crazy. <laughs> but uh, my wife wants to open this for reasons. Not keep it pristine in the package oh. and worry about the paint job. She wants to open it because she wants to play with her little baby. Baby Gorgo. Baby Gorgos. Baby Gorgo. Well, technically, that's Gorgo, not yeah. Mama Gorgo. That's <laughs> Mama. Or parent, if you want to get specific. Gen, if you don't want to get gender specific. <laughs> but that's all we do here. I, I, we get I gender specific all the time. That's what I'm going to refer to. It's a chick. Baby could be a chick too. We don't even know. So anyways, uh, we're just going to get into it. This is going to be the most simplest <laughs> destroying the package. Because we're going to keep the card. To be honest, I'll probably keep the bag too. Maybe. But yeah, we usually keep the cards. I usually keep the cards set aside. But almost everything gets open. I only have like one M1 still sitting in the bag. That one I was thinking about doing a video too because that's uh, Nimikawa from Monster the Zero. Yeah, the X-Wing girl. Yeah. I have her still in the package. And I was thinking about doing one, but we picked up the Gorgo. So, I had to have my Gorgo. Yeah. Like the, mama. the entire convention. We had to go find a Gorgo, Steve. We have to find the Gorgo. We have to find a Gorgo. I don't care what else we buy, but we gotta find a Gorgo. It's between that and or and Orochi, but somebody already beat me to it and let alone. No, you don't usually see too much of the Orochis at G Fest. Like there's usually like one and I never wanna pay for it. Yeah, <laughs> it's not too cheap. Yeah, at least this a really big picture figure. Oh, that thing's huge. It's as big as the um, the Grand King Ghidorah that we just did. I think so. Like, it's a, it's longer, but Ghidorah's taller. Mm -hmm. uh, but, anyways, this is closer to kind of like a marmot. Yeah. In terms of how the paint job is presented here, where you have a lot of these metallic blues. Uh, kind of red? Yeah, I like metallics. We're going to get you out of the way. Just very so colorful. Can... Yeah, very colorful. Also, like, my lights are, like, illuminating. <laughs> 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 But we have the gold on the back. You get some kind of, yeah, it's like yeah, a it's purple. purple. And then teal. Yeah, you get some metallic teal Turtles. and some red. Yeah, Red's not very metallic, though. It's pretty bland metallic. Oh, you get some copyright information on the bottom of his foot, too. Oh. That's pretty cool. But little baby Gorgo. You can rotate a little bit side to side, but that's really about it. Except for like a pair of baby kind of thing, it's fine. That's kind of it too. It's mostly it's it's smaller than a pair of baby. Yeah. From marmots, because we only have the one pair one. of baby. <laughs> I want the angerest, but God, that thing that thing costs more than this set. Yeah. <laughs> Which is cray cray. And my pair of baby technically didn't come with the building, I think, or some kind of set piece. That was yeah, there's to there's like with. a special edition. I can't remember. Cause ours was um. The PX preview exclusive, I think. I think so, yeah. And there's another version that came with extra stuff. But he's also got some metallic gold for the eyes. Kinda has a rat face. <laughs> I think he's cute. In still. a sense. Got some metallic silver for the teeth. Overall, a pretty cool looking little baby. Again, some added little textures on the back. Big Mama Gorgo, on the other hand, has like Gabara scaling. For the majority of its body. And you can see for the head sculpt. Looks really good. I like to do that. It's like closer to film accurate. Yeah, it's not that Than bad. what you get with the marmots. Like it has like the overall. It has the right posture. Mm -hmm. And shapes. It's not like super defined like it was in the movie. But it kind of. Like you go look at this and you <clears throat> know exactly who it is. Exactly. Well, if you watch Corgo anyways. <laughs> I still I'm not even like I don't even like the movie. It's her thing. The only thing I kind of want is I still want like to make a Reptilicus figure. <laughs> One of these days I'll do it. But for the face, you get mostly the same coloring as what you have with the baby. Where it's kind of more of like a burnt umber. Yeah, like, it's, it's a brownish kind of on color. the sides. But you get some 
yellows, the teals, the greens, <clears throat> purples, reds. I like that the inside of the mop is like a really nice blood red. And then the teeth for all the metallic. Same with the, it still has the gold eyes. Uh, no, they're not really googly. They're a tiny bit googly, but like that's... A tiny bit googly, but they look fine. Looking straight on. <laughs> top of the head you get a lot of really nice indentations and ridges same with the ears on the side here look really nice too all the colors on the back yeah. it's just like a little rainbow kind of like bargon or barugan from gamera where you just have you need the rainbow, rainbow coming off his back i still need to get that guy i don't have a figure of that dude honestly i had the choice between this one or a glowy version but that one was Two hundred dollars compared to one seventy with this set, but I was like, I like colors, even though I like. That's kind too. of it. Like this guy just stands out more on a shelf than the glow in the dark one would. <laughs> like I like the gimmick, but this guy is just way more presentable than say oh. that one would have been. I like too how gigantic the hands are. Yeah. Compared to some of the that's other the, ones. That's the. Some nice detailing. The, the derpiness of. <laughs> it's got three toes, some gold claws. If you hear chewing in the background, that's the Pogos. He's down here right now. And for the tail, nothing too special. Get a little bit of articulation. The arms can go up and down. There's nothing really at the head. Feet can go a little bit forward and back. Slight rotation at the tail. Yeah, she's but, stiff, mind you. Yeah, well, you know, brand new. <laughs> Literally <laughs> just cracked open out yeah. of its prison. It's a little baggy prison. So yeah, if you guys were interested in picking up this set, if you guys were really into Gorgo, uh, this is, to me, a really nice set to acquire. Uh, 175 doesn't seem like that crazy of a price for an M1. And I just, I really like the coloring going on. It stands out a lot. You get pretty much the entire package in one figure, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I got. Cause again, Gorgo sucked. <laughs> I, think, I think it was a nice little twist. You know, I could the... never get through that movie. Anyways, what do you guys think of Gorgo? Have you guys checked it out? We still probably need to review that for the channel, <laughs> to be honest. God, I'll have to actually watch that movie again. Yay! <sighs> Let us know in the comments section below. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.